car parts and boxing time. Yeah, obviously I took the products out before I did that. Uh, so I contacted this company, ACS. They uh, <clears throat> they make a lot of uh, really awesome accessories and body kits and stuff like that for a lot of Chevy products. Uh, I think they do more than just the Corvette and the Camaro, but I know that that's like their main thing because if you go look on their Instagram page, which is all in the description and whatnot, that they have tons of Corvettes and customizing and stuff like that. So, so I checked out some of their stuff, showed them I like their products. They sent me out some stuff here that I'm interested to see what it is. Just, uh, Oh, sweet box stuff. I love stickers. You can always send me stickers. Yeah. Oh, sweet. These are the uh, these are those mud guards. They stick out a little bit. They're good for uh, cars with wider wheels than the body, which mine are. These go, I believe, on the front. Yeah. I believe these just they just bolt right in. I could be wrong. We'll figure it out in a little bit. But they should just kind of like stick on the inside of the wheel well, and then they prevent things like rock and mud and shit sliding up on your car. I know they look huge off off the car, but trust me, they're they're not as big as they look. Okay. She looks hard. <laughs> now, ACS also makes a wide body kit for the C7. Oh, yeah. This is the uh, Wicker Bill spoiler upgrade for the Z51. I have the Z51 package on my car. From what I understand, oh boy. Installing this is gonna suck because you have to drill into the car. Obviously, this is the most professional unboxing video ever. Now, these I've done some research on and they make me nervous as hell to install because you have to drill into your spoiler and use a, uh, a riv nut tool. If you don't know what a riv nut tool is, congratulations, you're just like me about two days ago. I ordered this little riv nut tool from Amazon. It was like 60 bucks, whatever. But it works similar to that of a rivet gun, except this one has uh, threaded inside to it and it like compress, I don't know, it like compresses the shit, magic happens. You go from just having a regular hole to having a screwed hole. Just like my ex-girlfriend. Looks like there's also some 3M on the backing here, which is really nice. You just peel that off and it sticks on in place and then you can use your little riv nut tool. Believe it or not, since this is my Corvette, I am going to be reading the instructions, something that I very rarely ever do. Step one, kill yourself. See, that's a neato burrito. Look at that, look at that shit right there, dog. And before I put it on, when I sent them an email, I was like, oh, we like your stuff, and they're like, we like your car. Actually, I'm just kidding. They said, please don't make a company look bad in your video. Clean the spoiler area using 50 to 50 water alcohol solution. Not gonna do that. Just wipe it. Then you just wipe it clean. Basically, there you go. Yeah, it's, oh, that noise. Does that bother you guys? Is that... Okay, place some masking tape over the area, though. I can get behind that. Let's do that. I don't want to scratch my shit up. Oh, yeah, that's the money, baby, right? Position the respective wicker over the Z51 spoiler. Ensure the lower edge is tangent with the spoiler. Yeah, I don't know what the word tangent means. There you go. The spoiler is tangerined with the car. Look at that. Look how tangerine that is. So now I need a marker. I have one of those somewhere. I frequently mark things. That's not a marker. All right, all right, all right, all right. Found a marker. I've already lost the marker. How did that happen? By the way, I'm not excited about drilling into my own car. It's like literally the least favorite thing of mine to do. Like really, I know it's not that big of a deal. Oh, dick. How did I dig that up already? That can't be right. That's a really high up hole. This is the world's worst drill. I have a green drill that's way too overpowered for this type of stuff, so I'm not using it. Ladies, I don't mean to impress you, but I've got three 1 8 bits, if you know what I'm saying. Can you believe I'm doing this? Oh god, that was awful. That was hard to do. I want to do it again. <coughs> Drilling in my own car hurts. <laughs> oh, I did it. I'll be alright. Using a 3 8 drill bit. Alright, this is... A lot bigger than I want it to be. <laughs> I almost went through to the other side. <laughs> a big hole, why do you make me do this, ACS? This is where you crack out the nut thread riveter kit. I've never used one of these before. I have no idea if this is a good one. I just ordered it online for super cheap. All right, don't need these. Oh look, it came with its own little set of things that I'm not gonna use. Look at this thing. Trapped in plastic, that's how you know it's good quality right there. My ISO is way too high. There we go. <clears throat> Hopefully the video hasn't been whitewashed up until now. Is this how you do it? Is this how you do it? ACS is never gonna work with me again. Unless I already uh, get a, a Miata and make the whole thing out of sheet metal. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Have you guys seen those that guy's videos? I think his name's Tyler, if I remember right. But I was following his build for the longest time. I just haven't kept up with it lately. 
He's got like this Miata, and the whole thing's made out of sheet metal, basically. We have a wiener. In this episode of Dickhead Garage, Dan learns how to tools. I can already hear the comments now. Oh my god, Dan, I can't believe you don't know how to use a nut riveter. I've been using those since I was seven. Also, I'm taller than you, and you look like a lesbian. How are you gonna build a bike if you don't know what a nut riveter is? Using thumb or tool, press down the dep- Oh, it's a depression sleeve. Oh. <laughs> Look at me go! Figured out my clinical depression. <laughs> See, there's a depression sleeve. I should know all about these. What am I doing? Oh, look how far these handles go out now all of a sudden. You just screw it all the way down, like so. And you go, Bleh! and it does it. That's cool. I think I did it. Get out of my spoiler. Okay. Around the two. That one was perfect. And how did we do? Wow, that looks way cooler. I like the way that looks. They do offer a bigger one that I'll probably end up going with in the future, but those, those were a lot more expensive, so I'm gonna stick with these for right now. These aren't going nowhere. That's nice. I was concerned about it, but geez, that's good. Oh, dude, it looks awesome. The uh, They have a stage three wicker bill, I believe, which goes up even further, and it has a middle piece. I'm not a huge fan of the middle piece, but I do like the taller wicker bills. Uh, Billwick, Wilker, Wilker, I don't know. But when I go with those, they should just bolt right in, just like, because I've already got the holes now, so. Look at that, dude, that looks money. All right, now I just gotta do the tapey thing, and then the drilly thing, and then the sticky thing. Clean the surface, <laughs> nice and clean. <laughs> Does anybody else get this? But for whatever reason, when it rains, it makes me want to uh, watch Jurassic Park. I don't know why. Also, if anybody else has a V20, just just to throw this out here, I just want to talk about this, but I have a LG V20, you know, it's pretty cool and whatnot, those things. The battery life on this thing blows dicks and not in a cool way. Like no joke, I can kill a full battery in about like three hours, it'll be need to be recharged if I'm just on my, my phone for three consecutive hours. Well, I went on Amazon, found this kick-ass little uh, battery pack. I'll even link it in the description because I know a lot of other people have uh, LGs in my in my uh, fan base, but this little battery pack, dude, I'm telling you what, I haven't charged this thing in two days. I use it pretty often and I'm, I'm, I'm not even at half battery yet. Check it out. Again, this is not paid advertising. You guys know me. I come out and I talk about it if it's paid advertising. But this is not paid advertising, this is me just trying to hook my friends up. So, if you uh, if you have a V20 and you need an extended battery that lasts for literally ever, here you go. Uh, <laughs> I hate doing that. I mean, this has actually it been an incredibly easy installation. If I can do this, you guys can do it. That, when that thing sinks in there, man, it feels so good. The people at over at ACS are going to hate me. <laughs> hey there, Connor. My brother. How's it going, Padre? I did, I wanted to show you guys the video. Alright, how do we see it? Just go to YouTube and watch, uh, just type in my name, it's the first thing that pops up. Do it with Dan? Yeah, just go to do, just type in do it with Dan, and then, uh, and then, uh, it'll be the most recent video, I uploaded it today. Oh, they look, they look great, they turned out awesome, the, the installation was super easy, and it looks clean, man. I won't lie, I, I think I did a pretty darn good job, if you know what I'm saying, but just drilling into it at, to begin with was just... It was hard to do, emotionally. Yeah, like you glad this ride was over, brother. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Man, I was so done. 650 comments. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, that was, it was a crazy ride. Stop it. Stop raining so I can finish the front. No. What did I say? I said no. Stop it. Stop raining. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is install the front mud guards. Apparently they're super easy to install, but I, I'm not gonna be able to do it on this hill, I don't think. So I'm just gonna move it up into the cul-de-sac and do it there. Thinking to yourself, Dan, why are you doing it in the rain? Why don't you do it in your garage? You have a perfectly good garage. Well, it's kind of messy right now because I'm in the process of building the motorcycle. Looks like there's a lot more room than there really is. Thankfully, this is apparently stupid easy.
That was obnoxiously easy. I don't have to drill, I don't have to scrape, I don't have to cut. Shit, everything on a Corvette should be this easy. I was reading the directions that they, they print off and they send you, and the directions that they print off and sent me make it look significantly more complicated than unscrewing three things, tucking some carpet, giggity giggity, and then being good to go. If you ever wonder how hard something is and you see me do it, just know that it's not that hard. If we can get them to hook me up with a body kit, a wide body kit, that might be a little bit harder to install. I'm just gonna go out there on a limb and say that it probably won't be easy. I hope these don't rub against my tires. My tire's a little bit bigger than, oh yeah. I asked nicely if it would stop raining. It still has not stopped. I want it to be wet. I like it. And it's been super sunny the past, like, week? Let's rip these out. So now that the OEM ones are off, I can throw them away. God dang. That just turned out awesome. And, then, and I know it's dirty because it's been raining for the past week, but look at that little, dude, that thing's perfect. It looks just like the Z06 ones. I don't know, man, that really set it off nice. It's so, it's, it's small and it's subtle, but like in the best way possible. God dang. Super easy install. Was not ready for how easy it was. You guys know what to do, man. Check them out. Links are in the description.